introduce yourself, one sentence elevator pitch on what you do, and how is your work differentiated and uniquely making an impact in behavioral health? Hi, everyone. I'm Lucia. I'm co-founder and CEO at Osmind. Um, we provide software and data for breakthrough mental health research and treatment. So um, I co-founded Osmind because I really believe there's a widening gap between innovation and clinical care, especially for patients with moderate to severe mental illness. Um, on the innovation front, there's actually a lot to be excited about. There have been uh, developments in neuroscience and new sorts of treatments like psychedelic medicine and neuromodulation. But Unfortunately, these treatments take on average 15 years to actually get into clinical practice. And there's this widening gap between um, what's actually happening on the innovation front and what's happening in clinical care. So we really believe that that stems from a lack of good data and technology to deliver precision psychiatry. And so at Osmine, we're building a learning healthcare system to close that gap. So what we offer is we have a network of nearly a thousand independent practices on our psych psychiatry specific EMR. And we try to streamline clinical practice and gather data to push forward research with our clinics and life sciences and other sorts of researchers and really apply that back to the point of care. So our research has really mattered so far. We've collected one of the deepest data sets in serious mental illness with over 3 million outcomes on hundreds of thousands of patients. We've published multiple peer reviewed papers, um, lots of fun topics such as comparing real world S ketamine versus ketamine outcomes and lots of other data that really matters in how we better understand mental health care. Do you think AI is overhyped, underhyped, just hyped enough um, when it comes to, you know, your particular category or, or company? On the Osmine side, um, there's a lot of upside, but I think there's a lot of potential downside and risk too, especially when we're talking about patient care. The need for quality is really high. So we serve clinicians and life sciences researchers, and we really need to get everything right. You can't have a misdiagnosis. You can't have a chart that's wrong. So I'm optimistic, but also really we want to be thoughtful going into it as well.